Hello, everyone. I hope you are all uh, well. Uh, I'm also well in this pandemic time. So uh, today I'm going to show you how you can install MongoDB on Amazon Linux 2. As you all might know, Amazon Linux 1 is not available anymore. That means uh, we, we are not going to be able to use Amazon Linux anymore from AWS. Those who are already using Amazon Linux 1, they can use it, but from now on, we need to use Amazon Linux machine too. Today, I'm going to show you how you can install MongoDB on Amazon Linux 2 and then run some commands over there. So let's get started. First, um, I'm in my EC2 dashboard. This is my console. And here I'm going to launch an instance. I'm going to choose um, Amazon Linux 2. So basically, this is the latest version using uh, CentOS 7. So um, let's select that. I'm going to stay on the free tier. That's next. I just want to use an SSM role, sorry, IAM role, which has SSM permission. Why? Because I want to connect from the console, not using 2 t or something else. I have other tutorials on how you can use uh, Putty, but here I'm going to use uh, console to connect to my instance. I'm going to add a tag, uh, name, uh, server. Security groups, uh, that's fine. As long as I don't want to connect it to anywhere. Preview, launch, I have this key pair. So, so let's get started. I'm going to view instances and this is the one, sorry. This is the one MongoDB server that's just uh, creating. It's still pending. It might take one or two minutes. So here it is, this is my instance, it's up and running. Now I'm going to connect to that instance using uh, the console. So here I am, I go to the instance details and here's a button called connect. And here you have four options, uh, EC2 instance connect, session manager, SSH client, EC2 serial console. So connecting from the console, you need to choose the second tab. This is not for uh, console. This is the one that you can use session manager to connect with your EC2 instance. So uh, my instance is still, I think, not fully prepared yet because there needs to be an uh, SSM agent that is running to your instance, which is connecting to our console with the server. So let's wait uh, or maybe refresh the page one more time. Sometimes it's a bit annoying that it takes time to get everything started, but um, I think you need to give some time to get everything up and running. Yes, here it is. So now I click connect. Then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, following. I will uh, make this screen a bit bigger. You can see, okay, it's bigger now. Oh, biggest. Great. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. Yeah, that's fine. So uh, I'm going to go as root. Then I'm going to create a repo for the MongoDB. This is, I will put in the description. This is uh, the original uh, repo details. So let's create a uh, repo for MongoDB. So here I will type this command, sudo vi for my vi editor, and then the file name that is etc 
slash yam dot repos dot d slash mongodb dot dash dash or dash four point o four point four dot repo. Press enter, and here yeah, I'm in the edit mode. So let's click here, and then I'm going to copy this content, and I will paste it here. I will put the full description, uh, full details of this in the description of this video. And also I will link it to my blog post so that you can have it. Maybe slightly smaller. Yeah, that's better. So I press now escape, colon, right, quit. WQ means right and quit. So that's my repo is uh, set up properly. Then I'm going to run this command sudo uh, yum install mongo okay so what it's saying that we are going to installing mongodb org 64b 4.4.6 amazon linux 2 that's what i wanted to do i press yes Is this okay? Yes. Okay, so all done. Let's clear the screen. Now I'm going to verify whether it's uh, actually installed or not. But actually, we will. Uh, start the mongodb server so as i'm in the root so i will run system ctl start mongod d for daemon and here it is if you get an error try to add a keyword sudo in front of it if you are not root i'm in root i don't need sudo but if you are a normal user then add a prefix sudo in front of it. So then let's check the status. System CTL status MongoD. And here is the active. So all good. You see 23 seconds ago and looks everything is good. Clear my screen. Then uh, let's uh, do some uh, things like connect to it mongo now i'm in a mongo shell and what it says to permanently disable this reminder the following command db disable free monitoring okay that's one um bum, bum, bum. let's try to create a collection mongodb create a database let's create a database I don't remember the commands, so you might be laughing why he's uh, seeing the commands for creating database. I just uh, don't remember the commands, so just I uh, copy it and run it. If you do memorize things, that better, but I don't do that. Okay, that's one. That's good. So um, use AWS with a tick. That's it. So if you run this command, it automatically creates the database for you. That's great. Now, uh, if I run show DBs, let's see. Is still showing same why it's oh so uh, then mm -hmm. we need to put some collection here what I'm going to do is just uh, put it here copy the command paste it I just wanted to see if my MongoDB is working properly oh, sorry 
I have a typo. So here it is. There's my new database and this my collections use AWS with traffic. Show collections. Let's see. We have a new collection user. And um, let's see if we can do anything else. Okay, so there are a lot of GUIs available. One of them is uh, getting a model with Compass. That's, that's I think, uh, that's also a nice tool. But let me see how can we install this. Using GUI MongoDB Compass. Okay, so some of the users would like to work with GUI to create data plan database. The MongoDB GUI Compass offers additional functionality, data visualization, etc. Okay. We're not using MongoDB Atlas. That's fine. So let's see if we can install MongoDB Compass right now. The full GUI. Oh, so. That's great. Okay, I'm not going to try MongoDB Compass now because uh, I have to do is uh, I need to download it. I actually use this tool called Robot T3. This is this is also nice. You can try it. Anyway, uh, that's not the point. Uh, the point is we have installed uh, MongoDB in our Amazon machine amazon in linux 2 then we can use our other node.js servers and then connect it to this mongodb and use it as our database server you can also use document db if you don't know what is document db this is also a managed service so sorry document db is that's a managed service uh, managed mongodb service that's what we are doing here. It's our own instance EC2, but uh, but using document DB, you can actually uh, run a managed MongoDB server here. That's very easy. So uh, that being said, uh, that's it for today. I think I have shown you how you can connect to it, your, how you can install MongoDB on Amazon Linux 2 and how you can connect with it and create a database, create a collection, and then use it for your mongodb server thank you if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel i spent a lot of time by creating those videos i would appreciate if you just click a button and also click the like button so that my videos get posted using the youtube algorithm thank you have a nice day bye bye